Are you struggling in solos? If you are struggling in solos and you feel like there's a lot to improve and you don't even know where to start, I'll be helping you with some really good tips. What's going on guys? Before we get into it, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications and all of that good stuff. It really does help a lot. And please use code Racket. It's the easiest way to support me. Anyways, I'm just going to dive straight into it. We're going to head into the tips. So these are little key things that you can do, not necessarily only tips, but also little things that you can adjust in your gameplay. The last tip in the video is literally the one of the most broken ones that I have for you guys. So please, 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 please watch until the end. Okay, so the first tip that I'm going to give you guys is it actually helped a lot of pro players. A lot of people know it. Some people don't really know it. But this helped Kinzel come first in the opens of the UEFA Cup, which really was kind of a big deal. But this really does help a lot. So when you set for loot and you don't really want to find anybody, but you don't know really where to be and stuff, Stuff like that because you might get key to whatever the case and you don't want to fight you just want to make it to end game one of the best things to do is literally sitting in a backseat of the car preferably in one of the uh, black cars that you get from the henchman bases because the windows are tinted but really i promise you people just run straight past it they don't even realize you're there and it's such a easy and broken strat the car doesn't turn on you don't hear anything only when you get into the front seat but when you switch seats and you're at the back nobody hears it this is better than being in a trash can or one of those porta parties because they do make noises when you're in them and interacting with them even hay bales and stuff like that so this is a really underrated strat if you're dead side and you can get in the back of a car. Next up, I'll have you having for you guys is don't take every fight you come across. Of course, in a solo tournament, um, a lot of people just want to key everything. You really shouldn't try your best to play dead side. Only take smart fights. Or even don't take any fights mid game at all if you don't have to. The only time you should ever take a mid game fight is if somebody is coming to you and pushing you, or if you just have no loot and you have to key or whatever the case is. But yeah, really try your best to not key anything. End game and placement points are way more valuable than kills. I promise you that. Maybe in your opening games and stuff like that, I really recommend going for kills, of course, because you need to get those high kill games because those elimination points will take you higher. But yeah, don't key everything you see, please. Another shot that I have for you guys, which you can actually lead to you getting a kill, and this is what I didn't want in my cash cup. So I'll put a clip of it now on screen. But I sat on top of a door, and when somebody walked in, I pumped them once and full boxed them, and I got a really easy elimination there. Honestly, it is an underrated strat. Just make sure you how to do it properly otherwise they will see your feet when they're coming in and stuff like that so make sure to sit properly and whatever case is it's a little bit more risky but it does work when done effectively Another thing to improve your solos is a little bit of a basic one is grinding arena. But not just grinding arena, it is VOD reviewing and going over why you died in arena. So as we can see, there's a Destiny Jesus video out now, which I'll link down below on how taste and fights and solo cash grabs. Honestly, it is so good. It really helped me a lot with my fighting and stuff like that. So I really recommend going to watch that after this video. Basically, when you VOD review what you did wrong in the cash cup, it gives you some mental notes if you take it down or whatever the case is in the Discord or whatever in your notes or whatever the case is, and you improve on them and don't make the same mistakes when you fight i promise you start doing this because you probably think oh it's just arena i just died because it's arena i wasn't taking it seriously try your best to take every single arena game seriously vod reviewing and taking notes on it i promise you you'll improve so much on your fighting Next thing to do is, uh, like I just mentioned, watch pro players. Um, I watched Destiny Jesus' VOD review, Taste and how he W keys, that kind of stuff helps so much with you. your solo play, your fighting, your rotations, all of that good stuff. So just a quick note, really try your best to watch as many how I place first in a solo cash cup, how I place 15th, how I play, whatever the case is, go watch those videos, it really does help you a lot. The next one that I have for you guys is literally just keeping a cool, relaxed, calm mentality. Of course, I, that is really easy said and done i'm a person that gets quite tilted sometimes when something doesn't go my way but i promise you once something's happened you have to let it go because for example let's for example i got headshot snipe when i was 31st and i had the best loot in the game what can i do about it now it's happened it's passed you just have to move on and try to rectify the mistakes that you made maybe you can learn from it but don't let it affect your whole tournament try your best to keep a level head and move on this will help you so much in other tournaments if you just don't take it too seriously and yeah it will literally just help you so much even finishing that tournament i promise you take my advice. The last tip that I have for you guys is using parasites. Now, you must be wondering, why on earth would I be using a parasite? Like, it's, it's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever heard, right? The reason why I say use parasites is because they are absolutely broken. So they, if you guys don't know what parasites are, they sit on top of the roof and once you get close enough to them, they attach themselves to your head. They start doing damage to you, but they only do damage up to 60 white health and it doesn't take any of your shield. And once it does that, it stops. The reason why it's broken is because you cannot get headshot. 
earlier in the cash cup today, I got headshot sniped, but I had a parasite on, no damage taken. It makes you run a little bit faster, it's like a little bit worse in a pepper, but it's constant. It's not like you have to keep applying it or whatever the case is. And also, you jump a little bit higher. So it's actually like in between you popping a bounce flopper and like the distance that you jump up, it is like halfway through there. And it's also basically on chilies. And it only takes 60 white health, up to 60 white health. It is so broken. Please trust me. If you have good loot and all of that good stuff, full shield, make sure to have full shield. Otherwise, it will be a bit done but yeah i promise you you won't get headshot sniped you won't get one pumped ever again if you have a, par a parasite on i promise you it is a broken strat thank you guys all so much for watching if you guys enjoyed please hit the like button subscribe turn on notifications and yeah love you guys all so much peace